Welcome back to 30 Days. It's time for Day 18 here on 30 Days of StarCraft. These players really do not need an introduction. The little one versus Sen. Essentially, the, the two players that are part of the top 10 in the world of StarCraft right now. Sen, regarded currently, statistically, number one. TLO, statistically, number six. It's time for Desert Oasis. TLO, random, Sen, well... I haven't been casting StarCraft long enough to know what he actually plays. And uh, we are about to find out, as it's going to be Zerg. Zerg versus Terran. Interesting here on Desert Oasis. TLO coming out as the Terran. Obviously, he would have picked random, as he always does. But TLO with Zerg versus Terran. Um, that is interesting. Mm. In, yeah, we have this. This could be this could be quite interesting. As TLO will have to push early on and harass with those Halions quite early. As uh, Sen is already sending out his overlords, as uh, there's not actually much room to expand here. Zurich is going to be have some real issues uh, trying to get his expansions up because he only have the unnatural here, a high yield here, and that is pretty much it. There, that's going to be very very difficult for uh, for Zurich to. To keep going, considering they need to expand to keep uh, keep up with Terran, to be to say the least. As uh, we are going away, this, this, uh, really we do have uh, TLO getting out his first supply depot back in the base, and that's a real good call. But we do have this Overlord that's going to go in and scout out and see what's going on in that TLO's base. Now, TLO is uh, known as to be a player that could be regarded as creative, to say the least. I know that the game is still in beta right now and that the uh, official release is not due towards the 30th of June, I believe, at this point in time. But seriously, there are no standardized stuff yet in the game. And TLO is happily, happily going around and trying to stuff, uh, trying to figure stuff out. Sen, meanwhile, has got himself a 14 pool being built here. Very, very, well, fairly early on in the game. Could have been a bit early, but he does not have any, uh, he's not going for any gas so far. So he's not opting for anything like this. We do have a single drone trying to get in towards uh, TLO's base. Will this SCV? No, he won't. This SCV will not engage. This drone is just going first as his barracks. But aside from that, nothing really... Yeah, it's too early in the game to really figure out what will be going on. As TLO is building a single barracks. He's got a single gas. So he... Yeah, it does look like he is going to go for a, uh, a infantry base build. As uh, finally, well, finally, we have Sen going on for his si first expansion right in towards his natural. Not much, not many minerals there, to be honest, but it will satisfy his hunger initially. And we do have a factory now coming out, so Helions are queued up already for the t for TLO. As uh, I'm looking on where he's actually building it, he's built, uh, he's building it very far away. He's building it on the high yield on Sen side. Oh dear, that is. V ooh. That is ballsy. That is very, very ballsy building a factory right there. It will have very quick access towards the uh, towards the base of Sen with those Hellions, especially with this massive ramp up here. We'll be able to get in there. But ooh, that is very, very ballsy. Does Sen know about it? Is what the real question is. No, he doesn't. As, oh, we have a denial of uh, gas here going on as the extractor is being put up. And, uh, Sen has. Uh, Sacrifice his drone that was going around the SCVs and uh, put an extractor up on towards uh, TLO's base. Now it's not gonna not gonna annoy him for very long because the uh, extractor is almost dead. But still, it's a little bit of time, a little bit of time of annoyance that is really gonna piss TLO off. And he's building his first Helions just to punish Sen for his uh, for his grievance. As TLO sent out his first Helion as his overlord's already checking things out. Oh, hello there, Zergling. Who wants to have some fried zergling? <laughs> Woo! He's like fried chicken. As that TLO moves on, and he's going to move in and find himself his very, very first hatchery. Oh, hello there, dro hello drone. You're going to fry as well. Takes that out. And he knows that these, uh, oh yeah, these zerg cocoons are going to be just uh, zerglings. But there's a queen on the ramp already. Nice placement on that ramp. Although there is no creep here, so the queen will be slow, and she's out of range. Oh, there's another queen there. Ooh, this ugh. this is going to be difficult. This is going to be very difficult for TLO. He will, we will be able to uh, to hold off any of these zerglings easily with these hellions, just considering there's two of them, and there's a third one now as well. So we'll be able to harass this queen very, very quickly. 
Is he gonna get on the ramp? Oh, there's a spike on the creep tumor there with a potential spike. A second queen coming out now as well, as well as metabolic boost coming out. And uh, TLO is going for an armory as well as another factory. So he's gonna. Oh, he's got in there. He got in there with his aliens. Can he get around? No, he's not. Oh, and he get the queen as well. Oh dear, and he's gonna have a field day with all these pro with all these drones. Oh, all these drones are going to fry. Oh, and there's a fourth hellion in there as well. Oh, what a mistake by Sen from getting these, getting, keeping these hellions in, not keeping these hellions out. And they're gonna, oh, they're gonna, oh, these, oh, all these drones are getting massacred. There's a couple of, a couple of zerglings in there. They do, they don't have metabolic boosters yet. One more fry. Oh, and he gets one of them. But such damage to Sen's base. One queen down, and at least ten drones. That is huge! Amazing work with that Hellion! And another one just spawned. Does Sen know, however, about this factory? Yeah, he does know about this factory. <laughs> As uh, this Hellion should have... Uh, well, he's probably not going to be surviving. No, he won't. His uh, metabolic boost has been cancelled. Um, no, it has, no, it's not. Oh, <laughs> another Hellion comes out. TLO, you crazy bastard. <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is just cheeky. And another Hellion comes out. <laughs> Seriously, I, in 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 Brood War, I loved vultures, but Hellions, holy crap! And a Thor now as well. Are we gonna see a starport to boot? Yes, we will. Expect medevac. Uh, expect medevac drops with uh, with uh, <laughs> with those uh, Thors. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> TLO uh, really boosting it up, and he's forcing Sen up on the back wall. And Sen needs to rebuild his economy quickly. He's not gonna have much time. As he needs to rebuild all of his drones, oh, he's got a massive chunk. But it just all of these eggs will now will have to, will now be focused on building, on building all of these drones. It's just a setback he just cannot afford because TLO will just keep on plowing forward. And his medevac, medevac is out, I think. Yes, there it is, and uh, his Thor is out as well. Hello there, let's hang that under there. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. As, uh, at this point, oh, Infernal Pre-Igniter as well now on those Hellions. And the factory did go down, but no, it did not go down. It's up in the air, up, up, and away. And it will be dropped in TLO's base as another factory comes up. With more Hellions being queued up. Here it comes. Oh, again, right in the back of the base. All of these drones are going to die. The Queens will move in quickly. Will the Medivac... Uh, they're not going to survive. The Medivac not going to keep... Well, that's going to be close. Yeah, we'll get the medevac out of there. But the queen's in tow. Oh, my God. queen's again slow. Uh, yeah, I had to go in transfusion. <laughs> that is just cheeky. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get called by Sen, moving all these uh, zerglings around the uh, around the medevac. Just keeping the micro around, making sure that Thor cannot drop in when doing even more damage than it already done did. <laughs> As he keeps on killing more and more zerglings. As uh, at this point, we do have a lair being built by TLO, being more uh, by TLO by Sen morphed in, and more zerglings. And really, at this point, it's <laughs> it's going to be a bit more and more difficult for Sen to actually get, do something about this, because TLO is being a cheeky bastard with that with a drop. And seriously, the point that Sen really got screwed over is when on this ramp right here, that little ramp. Yeah, there were two queens on it. Yeah, three Helions pushing in. Wide, wide play straight in towards those drones, and, and Sen must be just slamming itself in the face right now for letting that happen. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, we do have these Zerglings trying to get in towards the base, trying to get these, uh, uh, trying to get this expansion uh, away with a couple of Hellions just going around. But the SCPs have survived. We do have a couple of mules coming in just to quickly get that, get those minerals back in the game, as these uh, these Zerglings will not survive. And yes, we have a Spire coming out now. A Spire is being built by Sen. That's a good move to do right there. Getting, the mut getting those mutalisks out of the map just to counter those medevacs is very, very important for him to do right now. He cannot afford any more drops in his base. See all these drones here? If they die, Sen is screwed. He cannot afford anything like that. If he is even more clever, he'll go for brood wards in the long run with that with that spot with a, with a greater spire. But we'll have to see if he was actually going to do something like that. Right now, his economy is not up to place. But he has going for a ro he's going for a roach warren at the moment, though. Does TLO know about the Spire? That is my question. No, he isn't. He's just currently just messing around with these uh, 
Oh, with all these... Oh, that's a lot of Zerg wings. And these Helions are trying to get these drones down again. Great harassment by TLO so far. He does know about the Roach Warden, though. And is... And uh, yeah, he will know about the Roach Warren, but he's continuing to build more and more stuff in his base, including more Thors. Let's see how many units he has. He's got one Thor, one Viking. That Viking will be very important for us as the uh, Mutalisks, as well as the Helions, which have been harassing Sen like no, nothing else. But Sen, however, has got himself a lot of Zerglings. Oh, TLOs. Yeah, he's going to lose. Uh, he's going to lose these Helions at this pace. Yeah, they got the surround. Those are locked. Great micro once again by Sen. He's going for a full surround of those Helions and uh, only losing about four or five of the Zerglings in, uh, in the process. Very nicely done. Banshee's now coming out as well, and we have an Infestation Pit. Infest and Mutalisks, as predicted, coming out. And the Zerglings, once again, going in towards the, uh, in towards the SCP line. And there's not much there to defend it, except, except for a couple of Marines, as the SCPs are trying to tear through them. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, and the yay, Zerglings are dead. As at this point, oh, TLO does have these, these barracks up in the ramp. Just on the entrance, just to... Uh, yeah, he's building a command center and a supply depot just to hold them off. That's probably a good move right there. And he's setting up for his, for, for his first expansion. And yes, there we go. We have another expansion coming out now for Sen. As well as an infestation pit. Are we going to see infestors? Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. In one... Oh, you know, not a greater spire just yet, but he does not have enough gas for that. The spawning pool and all that jazz is out, and this hatchery is ready to rock into it is, uh, on this high yield uh, mineral field, and that's going to be important on that front. Oh dear, oh dear, 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 dear. Roaches as well. We have infestors. Infestors are constructed. And oh yeah, the new, newly added in the game actually, Frenzy. A frenzy on the uh, on the units of uh, of the Zerg. But the real question is, what is he going to frenzy? And he's going for more stuff, some neural parasite now as well. But what is he going to use them on? Is what I'm wondering. More infestors being built. While well, TLO uh, spine crawlers. Well, TLO is just attacking back up, and he's going for a ghost academy. A ghost academy for a Zerg. Why would he do that? Huh, would he need to go? Would I dare say a nuke? Hmm. Maybe, maybe. Oh, well, we have siege tanks being deployed though as well. Siege tanks and all, but the Mutalisks are coming in behind the base now for TLO, trying to watch out. Ooh, there's not much minerals there, but Mutalisk will do a significant amount of damage. We have a couple of Thors there, but they should have no problem taking these Mutalisks down. They do go down. As we have roaches. Ten roaches queued up with Gilead reconstruction as well. Making those units faster. And faster all over the place. But nothing like Burrow just yet. There they are, the roaches. How many how many He has five infestors. But frenzy on on roaches. I mean, I'm not I'm not quite sure. Frenzy was very recently added to the game because uh, I believe infested human was removed. Infested Terran was removed from infestors and moved towards a broodlord. And frenzy being put on towards the uh, the infestors. But I wonder how he's going to use that with the roaches. I'm rather curious. More siege tanks. On the verge of being deployed, we got a couple of overlords still going around the map, just moving out. He does <laughs> central sacks, nice. Oh, that's a lot of Hellions. And uh, TLO is looking to expand. And that's four Thors. That is rather significant, and they'll be able to take out this overlord no problem. And we do have a ghost. What does he have? A ghost. EMP sniper. Build nuke from the ghost academy. Is he building a nuke? Is he build he is building something. Mm, yeah, he's building something, that's for sure. What is he building? Yeah, nothing so far. More roaches coming out though on Sen's side. Oh, we have a little bit of engagement here. We got the infestors coming. Oh, these infestors tried to go first as the Thors. They all got denied as the internal pre-igniter is ripping 
through the uh, through the roaches. So much for the frenzy, guys, but that didn't work out very well. As uh, the, this Thor is going to take down his Overlord, and now it's TLO's time to move forward. Scan coming down. The Helions are on standby. You need to watch out. All these group teamers are still here. The Rotus is going to go down. There we go. And now, uh, ooh, that's a lot of Zerglings. Zerglings. Oh, look at this. As uh, Sen is actually moving out. His drones as well to defend. All these siege tanks are deployed with all these with all these Helions as well. They're trying to push in, trying to get the fire down. As uh, these more and more siege tanks come into line. Ah, oh, that queen goes down as well. Sen's attacking force is annihilated. So much for the frenzy. That frenzy was not much of a success for uh, for Sen. And he got annihilated. Oh, that Infester is trying to get out. But he's roaches as well. With a couple of Broodlings trying to get out as well. But he is, they're not going to survive. And these Thors, well, they're just going around. Oh, look at that. Wow. Taking out the extractors. And that's a high yield gun. And now it's just a road to straddle for, uh, for uh, TLO. And what will he find on the road? Evolution chambers. And what are they building? Missile attacks. Roaches. Uh, more roaches being upgraded. Is he getting any additional upgrades though? No, just more Zerg missile weapons. On the other side though, TLO does have Banshees and he's going for a planetary fortress. Ooh, a planetary fortress. That is very interesting. Planetary, where is he building it though? There it is. Planetary Fortress being built. We do have a couple of roaches in the back of the base, though. He needs to watch out. Can he deploy one of the siege tanks? Would be nice. In order to uh, make sure that uh, he needs to deploy now. There they go. Now the roaches do are moving away. As this Thor needs to lure closer. <laughs> now the SCVs are coming in as well. Planetary Fortress. There's not much for a power of Terry the Fortress to use right now. There's more and more creeper on the map, and TLO cannot use this at the moment, but we do have more and more uh, units going around that. Look at all those mules. That is a lot of mules coming around. More and more roaches do try to get in. They're not going to live a very long. Sea tanks are here. More roaches coming in now. We can the sea tanks deploy. They're going to have much time once the sea tank is going to go down. Is the other one going down as well? No, it's deployed just in time. The infestors are coming in on the doors! The Thors are infested! Oh dear! Siege tanks need to deploy now to take these Thors out before it's too late. TLO backs off. There it goes, the deployment. One, two, three, fire. One Thor down. The other Thor is not going to survive a very long either. Oh dear, and all these infestors are just in the background, but TLO just lost. Let me see here. I see two infestors, so two Thors lost that he needed to take out. That is such a loss on that front. He did have this backup of uh, siege tanks in in uh, on standby, and he actually has it the level three ca uh, cannon and everything. That is powerful. Meanwhile, Sen is going for Zerg missile weapons too, continuing to upgrade his uh, his uh, his uh, his units. Let's see if he can actually. Yeah, you're still going around. Look at that. Oh, those ventral sacks. Those roaches are going to drop in the base, and there's nothing there to defend it. Here they come. Well, wait, no, there's a couple siege tanks there, but the uh, roaches have already dropped. And they're going to make havoc on the base. And uh, the silver roaches are just there, just waiting for the deployment to come in. The ventral sacks will just be... Yeah, ventral sacks are just there. And they're going to drop them right on top of the... Very well played on those, with those roaches. Right on, deployed right on top of the siege tanks who are going to be annihilated. There we go, three siege tanks down as well as that Halion. These siege tanks, yeah, they... Well, they will survive because of the Banshee, but still, these overlords are in tow. We have more Vikings being built, making TLO does not want these overlords to come into base. As, uh, TLO is continuing with the build that he was going for. Vikings, Siege Tanks, Helions, and Thors. Mutalisks being churned out now. As, uh, at this point, four mutalisks on the map. Let's see if we can find them. No, those uh, those are infestors. Those infestors are important to look at. How many Thors does he have? Two. Yeah, with those siege tanks, it's going to be difficult. But those Thors need to be infested very, very quickly. And more ghosts as well. I'm sure. I'm. I'm still not quite sure what he's up to with those ghosts. 
He doesn't have Mobius Reactor or anything like that. So he's just using them for scanning or something like that? Curious, 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 curious. As uh, Sand is looking to uh, finish this off. Yeah, that's, uh, oh, that Thor. Oh, we have a planetary fortress taking down the uh, Infestor quite well. And that Thor is relieved of duty. Oh, more Infestors now as well. This planetary fortress was a good, good deal. But this uh, Thor is not going to survive very long. And now the planetary fortress is going to be focused upon. No, because the mule is already there to heal. And the uh, Helions come in tow. Trying to take this Infestor down. Ooh, that Infernal Pre-Igniter is a little bit too much. Uh, TLO's troops are holding back off Sen quite well. And this planetary fortress was a good move. And he's just upgrading all... And he's, he's got two of ter planetary fortresses now? Wow. That's impressive. Terran vehicle plating three. Wow. More roaches and uh, infestors coming out for Sen. As he hasn't used Frenzy just yet. And he's just hoping to... Uh, to take over as many units as he possibly can. But nothing like Brood Lords or anything. Like, no greater spire being built. It's TLO is just scanning things out. See what's going on. More and more roaches going around. And TLO is moving slowly forward. With Siege Tank by Siege Tank. Trying to deploy the classic Siege Tank push. And I think we can get close to that. As it's all full forced back. And we have this ghost scouting out. As he gets scouted out, and that's the, uh, that is the, uh, so much for that ghost. But will we see the Siege Tank deploying forward? Will more Siege Tanks coming in as well as Vikings? This is, could be it for Sen. As so here we go, the party is on the way. The Roaches try to come in on towards the Helions. Helions are getting annihilated. We have all these Siege Tanks in the back, and then we'll be able to take down these, all these Roaches quite quickly. And so, there we go, good game being called by Sen. He knows that he cannot hold off the onslaught that is the Siege Tank. Sitting in the back, comfortably behind enemy lines. Danger close, right on top of those roaches. The army of Sen getting annihilated. How much did he have in the end still? Uh, nothing, really. Five roaches versus though that many siege tanks, as well as Thors and Helions. No way he would have survived that. Good game being called. He knew it was over. His expansions were toast, to say the least. Absolutely toast. It was uh, TLO with a great opening here with that, uh, with that factory up in the wards to high yield. With that Helion rushing right in the base, especially on towards this ramp right here. That really, really gave, gave it to TLO. If TLO hadn't done that, then it could have been completely different. And there's not much in there. That's speculation that I can really not say anything else about. In the meanwhile, though, this has been day number 18 of 30 days of StarCraft. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave your comments below. I know I'm a terrible, terrible caster, but uh, we're eventually, eventually getting there. Regardless, we will see you tomorrow for day number 19. I got university tomorrow, so I might be a little bit late on the uh, commentary, but we shall see on, uh, how late that is going to be. In the meanwhile, though, my name has been Acepec here on Quad V. See you tomorrow.